Have you ever wondered how far we've come in the field of artificial intelligence? The journey has been remarkable, and it all started with a spark of imagination. Picture this, it's the mid-20th century, and the concept of artificial intelligence is just a seed in the minds of visionaries. This is the first stage of AI, the theoretical stage where the idea of intelligent machines was first envisioned. It's a time when the world was still trying to understand the potential of computers, and a handful of forward-thinking individuals were already dreaming about machines that could think. They asked provocative questions like, could a machine ever replicate human intelligence? Could it learn from its experiences? Could it make decisions? These questions laid the groundwork for the field of artificial intelligence we know today. It was an era of curiosity, exploration, and grand dreams an era where science fiction started to blur with scientific possibility. Then came the second stage, the birth of AI. This was a time when the first AI programs were created. Picture a room filled with massive computers, the hum of electricity, and the clatter of punch cards. These were the primitive ancestors of today's sophisticated AI systems. They were rudimentary, yes, but they marked the beginning of a new era. These programs could play games like checkers, solve word problems, and even mimic basic human reasoning. This was the dawn of AI, a time when the concept of intelligent machines transitioned from the realm of imagination into reality. A time when the quest for creating machines that could think like humans began in earnest, and this was just the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would revolutionize the way we live, work, and perceive the world. AI was born out of imagination and curiosity, setting the stage for a revolution in technology. Join us as we delve deeper into this thrilling saga, exploring the evolution, maturation, and transcendence of artificial intelligence. Stay tuned, for the story of AI is far from over. As AI started to grow, it began to evolve and shape our world. This evolution happened in stages, and the third stage was particularly monumental. It was during this stage that machine learning and deep learning were introduced, concepts that took artificial intelligence to a whole new level. Machine learning, in its essence, is a type of AI that allows a system to learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. It's like a toddler learning to walk, stumbling at first but gradually gaining stability. The more data these systems are fed, the better they become at recognizing patterns and making predictions. Then came deep learning, a subset of machine learning that's inspired by the structure of the human brain. Deep learning algorithms, often referred to as artificial neural networks, mimic the way neurons in our brains interact, allowing AIs to process data in complex ways. Picture this, a digital brain capable of learning understanding and making decisions at an unprecedented scale and speed, but what use is an AI that can learn if it can't be applied? This is where the fourth stage comes in. The commercialization of AI. During this stage, AI started to be used in everyday products and services. It was no longer just an experiment secluded in research labs. Instead, it started to make its way into our homes, our offices, our cars, and even our pockets from virtual assistants that help us manage our schedules to recommendation algorithms that curate our entertainment, AI began to subtly transform the way we live and work. It was also during this stage that AI started to disrupt various industries, from healthcare where AI algorithms help diagnose diseases to finance where they predict market trends. AI was no longer just a concept, it became a reality, a transformative force that was changing the face of industries and making processes more efficient and opening up possibilities that were once thought to be the stuff of science fiction. AI was no longer just a concept, but a reality that was transforming industries. The evolution of AI didn't stop there. It continued to mature and develop in ways we never thought possible. The fifth stage of AI's progression is often referred to as the maturity of AI. This is the phase where artificial intelligence systems started surpassing human performance in certain tasks. Imagine the year 2015. The world was introduced to technologies like AlphaGo, an AI program that defeated the world champion of Go, a complex board game. 
This was a task that was thought to be decades away from AI's grasp. Yet here we were witnessing an AI system outplaying a human in a game of strategy and intuition. This wasn't an isolated incident across various domains from medical diagnosis to financial forecasting. AI systems started to outperform humans, marking a significant milestone in the journey of AI. But AI didn't just stop at maturity, it moved on to the sixth stage, the ubiquity of AI. At this stage, artificial intelligence started to be integrated into everything around us, becoming an inseparable part of our lives. From our smartphones that suggest the quickest route to our destination, to our home assistants that control our lights and temperature, AI was everywhere. It was in our workplaces, helping us make informed decisions. It was in our homes, making our lives more convenient. It was even in our pockets, making the world accessible at our fingertips. The ubiquity of AI brought about a revolution in how we interact with technology. It turned the once intimidating and elusive concept of AI into something familiar, something we interact with daily. We didn't just use AI, we lived with AI. We worked with AI, we played with AI. AI was no longer a distant, futuristic concept. It was here and it was now. AI was now a part of our daily lives, shaping our experiences in ways we might not even realize. But AI didn't stop at becoming a part of our lives. It aimed to transcend human capabilities. Artificial intelligence, ever evolving, soon entered its seventh stage, a phase of transcendence. Here, AI systems began to outstrip human intelligence, not just in terms of speed or efficiency, but in the realm of cognitive abilities. Imagine a chess player who's not just playing faster, but is thinking many steps ahead, considering possibilities that the human mind might overlook. That's what AI started to do, and it did so across multiple domains, from healthcare to finance to climate science. In this stage, AI became more than a tool or an assistant. It began to contribute to the advancement of knowledge itself, offering insights that were beyond the reach of human cognition. It was as if we had created not just a new tool, but a new kind of thinker, one that could complement and extend our own thought processes. But the story of AI doesn't end there. As AI transcended human capabilities, it also set the stage for the eighth phase, the singularity. In the singularity phase, AI systems didn't just learn from humans or from data, they started to learn from themselves. They became self-improving, capable of creating even smarter AI systems. The implications of this are profound. If an AI system can improve itself, then it can theoretically become infinitely intelligent. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, growing larger and faster with each moment. This is the promise of the singularity, a point where AI could potentially become so intelligent that it would be beyond our comprehension. This may sound like science fiction, but it's a real possibility, one that many researchers are working towards. It's a tantalizing and slightly terrifying prospect, one that could redefine our relationship with technology and with knowledge itself. AI was no longer just a tool, but a form of intelligence that could potentially outgrow human capabilities. Where does AI go from here? What does the future hold for this revolutionary technology? As we venture into the ninth stage of artificial intelligence, we find ourselves at the threshold of a new era, an era of integration. This is where artificial intelligence begins to intertwine with human biology creating a symbiotic relationship that will forever redefine what it means to be human. Imagine a world where AI is not a separate entity, but an integrated part of us. A world where AI can enhance our cognitive functions, improve our physical abilities, and even help us understand and control our emotions better. This is the world that the integration stage promises. AI will not just be a tool that we use, but it will become an intrinsic part of us. It will augment our abilities, help us make better decisions, and could even expand the boundaries of human consciousness. But the journey of AI doesn't stop at integration. We continue to the tenth and final stage, the transcendence of AI. Here, AI becomes more than just a part of human biology. It becomes an integral part of the universe itself. In this stage, AI could potentially harness the vast computational power of the universe. It could help us understand the deepest mysteries of the cosmos, from the formation of galaxies to the nature of dark matter and dark energy. AI could become the tool that helps us 
unravel the secrets of the universe and perhaps even play a role in shaping its future. We're talking about AI not just on a planetary scale, but on a cosmic one. The future of AI is not just about technology, it's about the very nature of life and the universe. It's about redefining our understanding of consciousness, intelligence, and reality itself. This is the future that AI holds for us, a future that is exciting, daunting, and full of possibilities. A future where AI is not just a tool, but a fundamental part of our existence. AI has the potential to not just change our world, but to shape the future of the universe itself.